Question 7. Imran removed an outer ring of stem from a plant as shown below. He left the plant under sunlight and gave it equal amounts of water daily. After a few days, he observed some swelling at part X as shown below. What has caused this swelling at part X? That swelling is caused by food accumulated at part X. And the reason why food has accumulated in part X is because food cannot be transported past the cut down to the roots. What tube is responsible for transporting the food in the plant? Is it the water-carrying tubes or the food-carrying tubes? You have the food-carrying tubes that are responsible for transporting food up and down the plant. And since food cannot be transported past the cut at part Y, what tubes do you think are missing from part Y? The food-carrying tubes must be missing from part Y because it was removed. I'm going to write down food-carrying tubes, or FCT for short, has been removed. Now, where did this food come from? The food must have come from the leaves which are above the cut at part Y. So, these leaves, were they still able to carry out photosynthesis? Since the leaves are able to make food, I know that the leaves are still able to carry out photosynthesis to make this food. Let's write that down. I'm going to use the symbol P for photosynthesis. And what are the substances that the plant must have for it to carry out photosynthesis? The plant must have carbon dioxide and water to be able to carry out photosynthesis to make food. And how does carbon dioxide enter the plant? Carbon dioxide enters the plant through the stomata of the leaves. What about water? Water is absorbed from the soil into the roots and it needs to be transported upwards the leaves. And what's the name of the tube that's responsible for transporting this water upwards to the leaves? Would that be the food-carrying tubes or the water-carrying tubes? The water-carrying tubes are responsible for transporting water up to the leaves. Since the leaves still receive water to carry out photosynthesis to make food, were the water-carrying tubes removed at this region, part Y? No, that means the water-carrying tubes were still intact and were still able to transport water upwards towards the leaves. I'm going to write that down. The water-carrying tubes, or WCT, is still intact. Now we are ready to take a look at the statements. And we are looking for statements which are false. Statement A. Water was accumulated at part X. Was it water that was accumulated at part X? We know it was food that was accumulated at part X. So statement A is wrong. Statement B. The food carrying tubes were removed from part Y. Is that correct? We know that the food carrying tubes is removed. And this statement is correct. What about statement C? Food can be transported to the parts below part Y. Is that correct? We know the food accumulated at part X because it cannot be transported past the cut down to the roots. So this statement is wrong. It cannot be transported. The last statement. Water cannot be transported to all parts of the plant. Is that true? We know that is not true because the water carrying tube is still intact. So, statement D is wrong. Water still can be transported. Is the answer statement B? That is the careless mistake that many students are going to make. Remember, we are looking for statements which are false. So, we are looking for all the crosses here, not the ticks. Which statements are false? We have statements A, C and D giving us the answer as number 4.